All right, guys, Chris here with uh, Amartan Quads. This is a uh, demo model here, first production model of uh, the Tricopter 258 by Armatan. Uh, it's set up with a Naze Afro Acro uh, flight controller. You can see from this angle here, it's very low profile. If you're able to see that. Um, basically, it got bent pins soldered onto the flight controller, allowing for a very low top plate, which looks quite nice. Uh, I did not tidy any of the wires here yet. Uh, it's just uh, just put that together quickly to try flying this. Uh, motors are my usual motors that I use on my builds, and then uh, I'm running uh, not the best battery on this now. Uh, 2,350 MAH 3S, and it's only 25C discharge, but uh, I think it's going to fly fine. 7 inch props on this model although if you're not using a GoPro camera you can fit 8 inch props on there which is going to make it uh, considerably faster um, the arms are the same as my CNC 258 arms on the front uh, aircraft grade aluminum and then the tail is basically new parts that are designed specifically for this model and this is the tail design here uh, Thing. We go the quad, you can see the servo moving the motor. This is basically the yaw gyro responding here. The quad is connected now. Uh, it's a very nice uh, tail assembly uh, yaw design for the Stricopter. It's enclosed. This part of the back is actually thicker than the arms. It's six millimeter aircraft grade aluminum. And the whole thing is anodized black. So how about we go ahead and show you a brief flight demo with this. Um, this is my maiden flight outdoor with it. And I've got very high rates set on uh, Afro Acro uh, flight controller. I've got uh, 1.6 on RC rate and then uh, 0.7 for pitch and roll. So it's going to be pretty aggressive, maybe too aggressive. I'm not sure. So I'm going to try it and see how it goes. I keep it in the air, I'll be happy. Have a look. All right. Here we go. And of course, we've got the Afro board on this. So, you know, made in Japan by Time Cop. Uh, just an excellent flight controller. Very stable. The response on this is, uh, I mean, it's, it's, the, I've never flown a quadcopter uh, using a better flight controller than this for acrobatics. It's, uh, it's basically the best there is out there, in my opinion. It's better than the CC3D. Uh, it's better than the KK2, much better than the KK2. And it's also better than the Multi Wii. The way, whatever he does in his programming, uh, it works. He's doing it right. Boom! I thought the rates were too high, <laughs> and this is exactly what just happened. Alright, well, this is going to be a good example of the durability of this frame. It's been designed by uh, May May Day. This just hit the ground like hard, very hard. Let's have a look at it. Busted propeller. My god, I can't believe how fast it's flipped. Like, my rates are way too high. Like, oh my god. Uh, anyways, you can see uh, this motor is filled up with dirt here, dug in the ground. I got a slightly bent landing skid here, uh, which, you no, know, let me put that down. Let me show you this. This fit really hard. These kids are tough. We just do this, just like that. There you go. It's back straight looking like new again um, 
and the arms are undamaged. There's not even a slight bend to them. Um, I'll show you here. Have a look. Sander plates are undamaged, unbent, nothing wrong with this. And my looks like my servo survived fine, although that's not what hit the ground first, but the tail mechanism, uh, it did get in the dirt a little bit and uh, still working fine. Well, now I'm down because I got broken prop here and I don't think I want to fly this with such high rates. So I'm going to take that, hook that up the computer, uh, lower the rates and then take it back out for a flight. My prop is busted now, so I'm going to call it a day for this uh, flying session. I did not bring any spare props, but essentially if I have brought spare props, all I'd have to do now is put a new prop on and be back in the air flying. So I, I hate crashing like this on a maiden flight, but it's actually a good example of how tough this thing is. You know, I'd have to venture a guess that in all humility, of course, uh, this is probably the toughest quadcopter frame on the face, a uh, tricopter frame uh, on the face of the earth at the moment. It's, I mean, it's hard to build something much stronger than that. You're looking at a complete um, aluminum construction, aircraft grade aluminum, and an enclosed tail mechanism on the servo, on the on the, the yaw mechanism at the back. It's uh, yeah, it doesn't get, you know doesn't get much stronger than that. As I said, this thing was designed by Mei Mei Day on RC Groups. Uh, he's from Canada, he lives in Vancouver. Uh, fellow's an engineer. And basically, when we designed that, or I should say when he designed it, because it's mostly his design, although I did uh, have some input as to how things were done on there, but mostly, most of this is his design. And the goal was to carry on with the Armatan reputation of building frames that are very, very tough. That was the main idea. That's how we designed this. That's how we wanted it to be. Those were my very specific instructions to Meme Day uh, when I let him go ahead on his own and come up with this. Um, and uh, he did an excellent job, obviously. I'm very happy about, you know, I don't like crashing, but I'm actually very happy about what I see here after hitting the ground like that. It hit the ground quite a tunk. I was expecting to see at least something bent on there, but no, it's in perfect condition okay that's all for now maybe uh, next video will be a bit longer i'll show you a bit more flying with it cheers